Good morning. Today is the 20th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our Mass this morning is being offered for Anne Louise Bowman. There is no 8 a.m. Mass this week. This week's sanctuary candle intention was accidentally omitted from the bulletin, and it is for Edward Moran, Jr. This week's second collection will be for the cemetery upkeep. Check the bulletin for this month's mission co-op collection information. Rest in peace to Anime Paso, who was buried this past week, and to Frank Kubik, whose mass of Christian burial will be on Tuesday. In this week's bulletin is important information about our parish religious education program for this year. Please join with me in the prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God help you him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all evil spirits who prowl out the world, seeking the Lord of souls. Amen. Please rise and greet Father Bill. your 
promises which surpasses every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. And Jesus said to her and replied, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for what you add for you as you wish. The woman's daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord.
felt that they were the chosen. And they also felt that if they associated with anyone else who was a non-Jew, they would become unclean. And so they did not get anywhere near someone who was not Jewish. And now this Canaanite woman, a Gentile, a non-believer, comes up to Jesus. And she says, Son of David, have pity on me. My poor daughter is being tormented by a demon. And Jesus, putting on a show, being a good Jew, ignores her. But it drives the disciples crazy because they're saying, Lord, just get rid of her. You know, wipe her finger at her and make her go up in a puff of smoke. You know, throw her in the river. Do whatever. But just get rid of her. And Jesus comes out with a smart ankle reply to the woman. I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I'm only concerned about my people. You're not my people. And the woman kept up her pleading. Lord, help me. And she bowed all the more profoundly before Jesus. This was the response that Jesus wanted. Not to have somebody grovel at his feet, but to show other people her great faith, that for the sake of her daughter, she was willing to lose her head. And Jesus shows us today to have that common sense of respect for everyone's dignity. We live in a day and age where we talk about tolerance, we talk about acceptance, and there's so many different causes. But yet people today are still so hateful, so vindictive, so prejudiced. And Jesus in the gospel reminds us today that we as his followers, we're sinners too. We're not better than other people. And when we bow before God, God could cut off our heads. And He doesn't. Now, it might be easy for us to get down on our knees here in church and grovel before God. But it's not that easy to go up in front of other people that we don't like, people that are a pain in the butt people who have a superior attitude, people who are very negative, people who are vindictive. It's hard for us to be Christian today. And it's harder for us to be Catholic Christians. You know, I get kind of provoked sometimes when, you know, you hear about it's not right to be anti-Semitic. <clears throat> it's not right to be against someone's sexual preference. It's not right to believe this. It's not right to do that. And yet there's times where the only acceptable hatred is anti-Catholicism. It's hard to be Catholic stand up for what we believe in. And there are people constantly out there trying to find every way, shape, and form to demean and destroy our faith and what Jesus is all about. So many of our children, our grandchildren, even friends our age are Catholic in the name of 
We all have to go before the judgment seat of Christ. We all bow before him. And Jesus will judge us on how we respect each other and how we treat each other. Let us hope and pray that Jesus takes our hand and lifts us up and lifts up our chin so that we can look in our eye, his eyes. Let us pray that we don't lose our heads.
receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered far by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again in yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity, made the body of Christ in the temple of the Holy Spirit, might to the praise of your manifest wisdom be manifest as the Church. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim.
at the same command and form of divine teaching, we care to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom of God, and the glory of our is now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lord Jesus Christ, our divine physician, we ask you to guard and protect us from coronavirus, COVID-19, and all serious illness. For all that have died from it, have mercy. For those that are ill now, bring healing. For those searching for a remedy, enlighten them. For medical caregivers, help me the sick, strengthen and shield them. For those working to contain and spread, grant them success. For those afraid, grant peace. May your precious blood be our defense and salvation. By your grace, may you turn the evil disease into memories of consolation and hope. May we always fear the containment of sin more than any illness. We abandon ourselves to your infinite mercy. Amen. If anyone would like to follow. 
copy of the prayer, I still believe he has some prayer cards in the back table. Let us pray. May you partakers of Christ for these sacraments. We humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conform to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Lord be with you. Amen.